The Federal Reserve was formed in 1913 in response to prior economic panics. It is an independent central bank and that is not part of the government. Therefore, it is neither federal nor does it have a reserve. So what does it really do? Essentially, the Federal Reserve has four jobs it performs. It conducts the nation's monetary policy by influencing monetary and credit conditions in the economy in pursuit of maximum employment, stable prices, and moderate long-term interest rates. This means that the Federal Reserve can either adjust interest rates for loans to banks and buy and sell federal treasury bonds to either stimulate the economy or slow it down, depending on the needs of the day. The second job is to supervise and regulate banking institutions to ensure the safety and soundness of the nation's banking and financial system and protect the credit rights of consumers. This means that if a bank is operating in a way that is overly risky or against the rules, the Fed can come in and take over in order to get the bank back on track. The third role is to provide services to depository institutions, the U.S. government, and foreign governments. This means that the Federal Reserve can give out loans to banks, the United States government, and foreign countries. The final job is to maintain stability of the financial system and contain systemic risk that may arise in financial markets. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but means that the Fed has the responsibility of keeping the economy stable and putting out any fires that may arise.